Hello and welcome to Advanced Mazda at Spa. We got ourselves a setup from Major's Garage. It's just the baseline plus, but it feels pretty good. Still pretty new to Spa, so still learning and uh, can still get a lot of time. And we can't waste any time, speaking of time, <laughs> for uh, qualifying. Because you get eight minutes and it's a pretty darn long track, so... Uh, in case I accidentally make a mistake on the outlap or something. Make sure that I'm getting out here quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have all-time optimal up. Uh, like, help me out a little bit more knowing how well I'm hitting each corner and stuff. Because even my all-time best lap, I might have a corner where I did very poorly. So I'm kind of trying to see uh, corner by corner how I'm doing. Gotta be careful on the cold tires. This is one of those setups where on the cold tires it can't hurt you. Being careful. Ooh. Shifting down, especially. You can start you can really feel it. Feel it try to turn on you. Which is good. Getting turn rotation into the corner is good. But uh, too much. And you spin. That corner is always really bad on cold tires. I even went really soft through there and uh, nearly spun it. So, that's what I'm talking about. Rotation's good, it'll serve me well. But on the cold tires, it's gonna try to kill me for a while, so, gotta be careful. And that's why I got out here quick. In case I spun right there, I need to be able to jump back in and use the most of my time. Hopefully, I don't spin though. I don't plan on it. we get these tires warm. It is a long lap, so... Hopefully, by the time we get finished with this one, tires will be a little bit better. Uh, I don't expect to be competing in the front. I know there's guys that are going to be much better than me. I think we can hang in there okay, though. Especially because of draft. This track is huge for these Mazdas, so I think, uh, sorry, I never can decide whether I want to shift there. I'm absent-minded, I'm sorry. I know I'm pretty slow through that corner, I want to try to work on that. But sorry, I got a thousand thoughts going on at once, I'm trying to drive and trying to talk about things. Uh, draft is going to be able to keep me up with people, even if I'm a little bit slower, but uh, that goes for people behind me as well. Green flag, watch green out for flag. that. You can get some really scary situations, like at the end of this long okay. straight. Here comes your first time lap. Where people are going. Oops. Going, uh, like, five wide. So, we're going to back out of that if we end up there early in the race. Just let things sort out. Be kind of cautious early on. I shifted when I shouldn't have there. It's tempting to shift because it's like, alright, about to hit max out on fourth, got to hit fifth, but then you're about to go up that huge hill. So you want to be in fourth. So that kind of messed up my lap early, unfortunately, but... That's okay. Let's not spin it here. Okay. Use a little bit of throttle uh, to keep it from getting too crazy sideways. Gotta make sure you don't go off here as well. It's very easy to push out wide there, get an off track, and then your lap doesn't count anymore. Plus, you get a safety safety rating hit, small as it is. Don't want to be just doing that for fun. So, I think that was an optimal uh, section there, sector. 
That's cool. Looks like now my uh, all-time optimal is at a 248.1. I don't know how that stacks up to the best guys. But I also know I'm probably not going to hit an optimal at any point either. That's just a lot to ask to hit every corner perfectly. Especially when there's so many corners at this place. I think I just want to keep it in fourth. Could be wrong. Still feel like I could probably push that harder. But I don't want to overdrive it either, because that's not going to be fast either. Lots of work to do here. I have not done too many races at this facility, so. And I was wide there. But hey, that uh, Sector 3 was a, an optimal back then, so maybe, uh, maybe that's not too bad. I think I lowered my optimal just a tiny bit. We're not going to shift into fifth this time, because look, we're going up the hill. Need those extra revs. Our optimal here is going to plummet because we had draft whenever we got the best lap here. And so you can see how much faster that makes you. We're not too worried about that. Hey, that was pretty good. Happy with that. I feel like I stomp on the throttle too much there. I think it'd be better to be gradual at that part of the track. Uh, that didn't feel too smooth either. Not a great lap so far. <laughs> we got people beating us. So that was, uh, I feel like this lap's gonna be better as long as I don't blow it. Oh, we got plenty of people behind us. Oh, I always overdrive this corner. I got a bad habit of doing that. The thing is, I can drive that hard in, but it's not gonna set me up very well for the next corner, and that's where the problem lies. I can't just make the corner, I gotta be ready to make the next corner smoothly, so gotta work on that one. Just because I can push it that hard doesn't mean I should, essentially. And again, long straight, so the uh, meter's gonna go very red for a minute. And that's why you jump in as quick as you can. You just straight up can't do both laps. Huh. It's not possible. Interesting. Alright, so you get one lap here. You saw me, I jumped in as quick as I could, and I didn't make any mistakes, so you can only do one lap here. That's fine. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Got ourselves a sixth out of 22. Alright. Also, remember, didn't have, I did take fuel out. This is just the race fuel. Could have been a little bit faster from that as well. We've got ourselves standing start in this series. Thank goodness. <laughs> Rolling starts are terrifying in any road series, pretty much. So our uh, qualifying lap was our all-time best, which at first sounds like a good thing, but I'm going to say that's not such a good thing because we had five people faster than us and they could pull out a lap better than my all-time best out of their hat in one lap. So that tells me they're faster, especially with this guy who is one second and three tenths, 1.3 seconds faster, which is significant. Let's keep it clean, guys. Garrett says keep it clean. Now everybody will listen and race differently now. Thank you, Garrett. You saved the race. I'm such a jerk, I'm sorry. Just for that, I'm aiming for you. Yeah, just for that, I'm aiming for you. <laughs> no. I'm not going to do that. 
This is going to be a really interesting first couple of corners, though. Everyone caught up with each other because of draft. I'm a little concerned how this is going to end up looking. I'll just try to survive, and I have to remember, and remember well, that this thing is going to try to kill me. So, P6, I'm going to go very tempers, easy. 88. The air tempers, 68. Not do anything crazy. Okay, get ready. Green, green, green. Hit from behind. Okay, so that guy crashes because he. Thank you, stupid. He runs in the back of me. Is he calling me stupid? I don't know if that's the same guy. But, I mean, there's really nothing more stupid you can do than run straight into a brick wall. If you followed up a roof right, one by one, you wouldn't have that problem. We can build something from here. Mm, sounds like someone else did something stupid. I was gonna say, like, that guy just ran into the back of me and... <laughs> and crashed. Oh my lord, this guy's getting sideways. What are we doing? Right side. I'm not trying to pass you, I'm just trying to take my line, man. Clear. Kind of all over the place. Okay. Killer corner. Please survive. Yeah. Okay. Good. Back to down. Try to be very smooth, and we're fine. All right. So I don't know much about football, like American football. Oh God. I should think about racing instead of football. Uh, but the guy that ran into me essentially did the butt fumble. That is one thing I know about, and that is very funny, and that's pretty much the racing equivalent of that, is what we saw. So that's pretty funny. The racing butt fumble. Iconic. So we're just going to keep up with the draft for now. No reason to do anything crazy, as long as they're not pulling away in front of us. No fight, push, push. I, I agree, but probably don't tell other people what to do, because they're probably going to listen even less, but I guess that's me telling them what to do, and they shouldn't listen to me, so. They're going pretty fast, we're in fifth gear. That's cool. I have to slow down extra early. So being a little cautious, I want to spin the thing, especially in those uh, tense, hard-turning braking zones. And we're doing well. Oh, well, okay, I thought that guy was going in the pits. I'm like, oh, did he get, do a false start or something? But no, he was just going all the way down there for some reason. No shift. Well, they're kind of getting away from me. kind of don't like that. Man, that draft is powerful. They are blocking, doing crazy things. Yikes. Some time on them on them there. They got stacked up a bit. Having to break a little earlier for each other. Overdrive that as I usually do. You can kind of diamond it though and get away with it. <laughs> but I still have to stop doing that. Definitely only keeping up, I think, as a draft. These guys. wide this time. It's a long race. Can't uh, fill up on incidents. Especially because we got our 2x from butt fumble earlier. I 
we got 30 minutes left, so... Fighting real hard seems a little silly right now. I agree with the guy that told everybody else what to do. <laughs> if he's trying to pass them or if he's like bump drafting them but I don't think either of those are good ideas right now definitely would prefer to try to stay with the other guys okay Colton the next car is Zoo I'm going to switch to session best because uh, it's not going to update our best lap times. Oh, he hit the inside wall there. Unless that was prediction code getting it wrong. I got pretty close, but I was able to not hit the wall. The leader's just done a 247.6. And we'll have draft for this big long straightaway. Still not going to shift. Those extra revs, just as usual. Some people having bad races as they're leaving. They're choosing to go side by side through here. good that was pretty smooth let's not overdrive this for once all right happy with that they hit the brakes through there but I usually just lift off it seems to do just as well that guy took that all wrong Non preferred line, but we'll try it. Clear. He pinches us real good, though, so we're gonna get stuck for a minute. We're gonna stay in draft. We're not trying to pass right now. Why would you hit your brakes right there, you loon? Gee, what? Are you hitting the brakes on a straightaway for real? Alright, that's an interesting one. Oh my god, they messed up that corner horribly. Now we're stuck behind that. They hit the brakes for them. So we're going to lose the first couple of guys. They're going to pull away if they keep this... These acrobatics up. Just dancing around each other, wasting time. Car on your left. Had to keep inside there because I knew he was out there. Doing whatever that line was. So are you going to try to pass each other? Are we going to race for, what, fourth? Or are we going to race for the win? Your lap time was what do you say? Christopher, I love your car. You say red car? The gap behind is now 1.2 seconds. Are we racing for the win? Okay, maybe we're racing for the win. I don't know why we're taking a defensive yeah, line. what happens in these races, so... Uh, <sighs> Someone didn't get the memo. Oh my god, guys. I can pull you too. Oh, good. 
My car is extremely loose. Oh my god, this guy's crashing in front of me. Good lord. This is annoying. Are you letting me have it because you're crazy? Still there, hold your line. Clear. Come on, Colter. My only done. goal is to finish with zero at. Maybe he got some kind of. I think maybe he actually got a cutting there. That might have been why he slowed down. Should have known someone wouldn't just be nice. <laughs> Even though he's going to be faster if I'm in front of him, because I think I can be faster than he is, and he'll get my draft. So it really does benefit him to let me buy and then use my draft, but he might not have even be able to keep up with my draft here. I'm not sure. 0.8 back already. P5. Hope we're close enough to the guy in front's draft to get, to, to get some speed. Getting some, it looks like. Sideways. Well, the guy behind's much better in that corner. I stink at that corner, man. I'm real bad there. Gained like a second. <laughs> doing that. Now he's going to pass. So yeah, he was definitely not being nice before, apparently. He's going to waste our time. Jesus, come on. Congrats, you got fifth and wasted our time. Now, guess what? You passed me. But look where we are. Didn't really matter, did it? Now we're on a big, long straight. Or anyone else, I would probably just pass you here. But I'd like to actually catch some people. Instead, I'm going to push you. Locks the tires up or something. Start sliding. So a lot to go. Plenty of time. I just went wide there. He borderlined it. I think he probably was good, but the borderline got in off track. be the best I've ever taken that corner. That's just because I haven't done that corner very well ever. Come on, just send it. So because of the battling back here, we're like six seconds behind. Because up front. Because they decided they wanted to battle for fourth instead of first. He uh, hit the James Bond trampoline in front of us. Oh my god, he destroys the curb, but somehow gets away with it. Maybe it was just prediction code. He's really good through that, those corners. I'm pretty bad, but he's pretty good. Or unless the 8 really messed it up that time, but it sure looked like uh, we gained a lot of time on him. I think we can try to get first now, not fourth. Are we going to draft? Like, look at them up there. They sure look like they're drafting. No. It looks like we're trying to pass on the hill. Okay. They got behind. 
wind is now 2.2. We good now? Why? Why? Why are we doing a defensive line? So frustrating, man. Alright, Colton, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. That's 20 minutes to go, 20 minutes. Oh my god. It's not like I can pass them either, because they're going to just keep up with the draft. That's why I want to work together with these guys and try to catch the front pack, but we can't do that if they're going to battle the whole time. Not really anything I can do about it. Bad corner. We want to fight for fourth the rest of the race, guys, or do we want to try to catch the leaders? Just a thought. Not going to catch them doing this. I think it's a good idea we hold here, Christopher. Or Christoph. We're going to fight for the rest of the race. But why? Why are we doing this? Let these guys run into each so other. So idiotic. A couple laps. Yeah, I guess so. We're just content yeah, with fourth. not doing very well in our route. Okay. No long term picture. Just going to. Give it that up? Think about here and now. Got to pass them now, now, now. No plan. Not real. I just race whatever they give me. I can give you my setup after the race if you want. That guy here hopefully gets out of the way. I'm mostly a normal racer. I just do road races on spare time. Oh, you might like this one then. It's a little flighty. Might be a chance here. That's what this one is. Very softly into this corner. I don't know where he's going. Swerving all over the place. So the 8 has demonstrated they're not as fast as the 5. Are they going to pass him with the slingshot, or are we going to try to catch the leaders? Do I know the answer to this already? Yes. Or do I just feel like complaining? Also, yes. <laughs> Watch, he's going he's gonna to dive it in on this red car right now. Or not even get the chance because he's going to defend the inside. I mean, I can't really blame the red car, I guess, because we, we found we can't trust the guy not to dive it in. 
Missed a shift. I meant to shift into first there and didn't, but it's not gonna matter. Because we're gonna catch right back up, because we're faster than these guys. And they refuse to draft, so... It's like going to Daytona and refusing to draft. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. As we lost the lead group, we had no chance anymore. The gap to zoo ahead is increasing. It's now 1.0. It's frustrating. Keep digging. Okay, Colton. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. You've just done a 250.00. Well, and uh, good news. We haven't had any internet issues so far. Here they go, passing each other again. And what, what, what are you going to do when you get in front of them? You're not going to drive away. Tell you that. By right, licking the carpet and going freaking yeah, right. defensive yeah. line. The funniest part is all this hard racing and none of it matters until the last lap. That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing these guys dive in on each other and then just get passed again on the next straight. I don't understand it. I believe the catch up on the draft is like a second and a half a lap. He would have to be driving a second and a half faster than somebody in a draft. Seems unlikely. Yeah. That guy gets it. Why can't he be in our group? Here they go, defensive line. The answer, zoo ahead is increasing. It's now. Oh my god, it snapped! Whoa! That was not good. I haven't experienced that yet. They're going so slow, I can't believe it snapped like that. That was bizarre. And now's the truth test if we can catch back up to him. I was not expecting that much of a slowdown. That was bad. It's okay though, they're still fighting each other. Still gonna be tough to catch them though because uh, they're getting some draft and I'm getting zero draft, so they're still winning out on me. I just have to be faster than both of them as they go side by side, I guess. I'm gonna gain a second there, or so almost. So I guess it's not gonna be too bad. Yeah, a couple more corners of them fighting each other, and we should be fine. Still, just not very good at this track, though. Thank you, Martin. Not quite have it figured out. Not bro. Oh, why there? I had to lift off. Exactly fast. 
Oh, that's an off track. I thought maybe I would be able to get away with being on the green part there. Otherwise, I would have lifted more. Darn. So I'm going to pull away a lot here, unfortunately. Even if they do end up trying to pass each other, they're going to have draft for a little bit. The gap behind is now 2.5 seconds. You've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to go. The gap to zoo ahead is increasing. It's now 3.4 seconds. They're through there okay that time. Right that was as good as I can hope for for myself. I know I gained a lot of time through the first couple of corners, so hopefully that'll help us catch up a little bit, but these long straights are killing me. So not in their draft anymore. How's that view, Hoy? Cool, that was close. Jump, but I'm not sure I will be able to. Might have made one mistake too many. It's hard to say as the relative goes up and down depending where we are on the track about making progress or not. Trying to catch back up. Seven minutes. About five laps of fuel. Yeah, we're good on fuel and all that. Just thought I'd check. Uh, so how should I pass you then? That works. Yeah, without the draft, I'm screwed. I'm not very good through there. <laughs> I think that's the best I've taken that sector this whole race, and I still think I lost time. You've got about five laps of fuel. I just checked that spotter. I don't think I'm making up any ground. That stinks. I'll check again next lap, but 3.2 now, and I think... That's about where I was last lap. So I don't know if I'm making up any ground by the time the lap ends. A big reason for it is this long straight. The gap behind is now 3.1 seconds. Six wouldn't be so bad though if we end up here. Not too upset with that. Even if I do think I could have been could have done better. Hold still, I'll push you. It's 
too much time left to go. Don't do that. Ugh. The stewards have warned us for quitting the track. I wish uh if I recognized that early enough I just committed <laughs> and at least took the corner as fast as possible. I got all kinds of off that whole sector. Darn, not that again. We'll be warned about track limits. Well, I'm falling apart. I'm just trying to push because I want to catch these guys, but I don't think it's happening. They're continuing to lose to the leaders, but they're still fighting. Because they're still fighting, but the little bit of draft they get is better than my no draft at all. Left to right, Jack. Need you to catch up a bit. Trying to get better there. Wasn't too I bad. Got gone. I gained half a second that lap. I think I'm gained the people behind me though, which is kind of funny. So we kind of just found ourselves in no man's land. Still, you don't know what's going to happen as the laps draw down. You don't know if guys are going to wreck each other or what. Seconds. I think they're pretty good. You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. I'll catch up. Tires are wearing a little bit, and that's why I've been misjudging a couple of these corners and sliding out wide, getting the off tracks. It's not as grippy as it was at the start, so I gotta be aware of that. Push, push, push. We can get this position. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Two minutes to go, that tells me they're going to take the white flag up there, maybe. Unless they're already on the next lap. But I think we've got one to go. I had to guess. So the eight can't even keep up with the five anymore with draft, looks like. it hard there. I want it to snap again, that's for sure. What flag? What flag? I actually gained a little bit on them there, but still, it doesn't matter. They're gonna gain a bunch again, catching up to the red car, so. White flag. Maybe we'll get some freebies if guys wreck each other up there, but not too likely. That's good consistency. Keep it up. So, like I said, six isn't so bad. Okay with that. Wish I got less incidents. But two of them were a guy butt fumbling on me, and four of them from off tracks at a place that's pretty uh, 
liberal with off-track distribution, so I guess it's not so bad. Could have been better, though. Go on then, eight. Dive it on. Wreck each other. Make me feel better about my mistake earlier. Don't go off track. It looks like so long as you don't get all four wheels off, you're okay there. You know he's going to try it. You know he's going to try to pass him here in the long straight. And then they're going to go into that sharp, sharp corner. Probably too wide. Very easily could be contact coming up. Just got to hope it's enough for me to get past him. You've got about two laps of fuel. Almost gave myself an off track at a very stupid part of the track to do so. They couldn't catch him, Jeff. I can't catch shit. They survived that corner, they're blocking each other. Oh, this is ugly. <laughs> oh, I see that replay. Awesome race, guys. Awesome. Darn, I survived. Oh well. P6, it got boring at the end, unfortunately, but it was my own fault. P6, okay, we're done. We'll do another corner or two, I guess, since people are still finishing. Make up for the 6x a little bit. Good job. And uh, get a safe place to stop anyway. Just uh, drive on through here, and then we'll call it good. All right, P6 could have been a top five. Just that one mistake. I lost the draft, and that's it. So this is like a super speedway of <laughs> of Mazdas, I guess. And again, finishing right uh, where I started. Did that in the last race, too. So, how bad were we on incidents? Pretty good, actually. Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong way. Not good. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, we're at the top, but that's the wrong top. <laughs> so, six. Could have been better. Like I said, two of them were weird guy running into my butt. And four off tracks through a long 35-minute race. That's not so bad. Take a look. I wonder if that damaged me too. I didn't even think about that. I wonder if that guy running into me damaged me. It couldn't have been anything significant, but still, I'm curious. Running into each other. Like, what is this guy even thinking? Why would he do that? <laughs> like, I'm full throttle. It's not like I'm checking up or anything. I'm full throttle, and he's just catching up because of the draft. He runs into me and kills himself. Then we get a nice view of a tree. So a couple casualties up the hill on the first lap. And they had their shoelaces together, I guess. There's that killer corner. Gets ya on those cold tires. Pretend wall hit on the inside. Still don't think he really did it. Some blinking. 
It's too far out to the left, I think. Maybe get some of the grass. This guy's fighting for fourth. One of them eventually got it, so I guess it was worth it, even though it only mattered on the last lap, the move that they did. Nothing before that made any difference except lost them the leader. It's blinking. Actually moving quite along, uh, moving along quite quickly. Ooh, stacking up in the... Little sharp chicane, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, that guy just turned too far. That came over and got that guy. Hey, that's pretty much what I did. But that didn't go all the way around. I wonder if we'll see that. I don't think we will, because I don't think I actually got out of uh, an incident for being out of control. But there's the leaders doing what he's just supposed to do, and drafting each other. So that's why one of them won. Here are the guys doing what you're not supposed to do. And blinking, and being side by side, and taking defensive lines, and finishing fourth and fifth. Hmm. Can you spot the difference? What was that? Okay. Missed his breaking point, maybe? after the race? What is going on there? Weird. I think it's after the race. We did more than we did more than 14 laps, right? Maybe not? I don't know. Regardless, that's a P6. Out of a 22 field, that's not so bad. It's supposed to finish third or whatever, but we weren't going to do that since uh, guys weren't cooperating in the draft. Bit too many incidents, so not my best race, but not the worst either by a uh, by long stretch, so Hope you enjoyed watching. Got a little bit boring at the end, but that's what it's going to do. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.